standing right here on the sidewalk just outside this Brookline home, you can actually smell what was inside and why officers say it was so unsafe. The home is deplorable. The images from inside tell only a portion of the story. We are just appalled by the conditions. It's dangerous. The home, officers say, was filled with urine. As you can see, they wore hazmat suits and masks to protect themselves. Well, they're my friends, they were my companions, not only my pets. This is 74 year old Kathleen Scalican, and these were her cats. Officers executed this search warrant to seize them, and they say they have been here before. In 2013, they took 13 cats, and 10 died shortly after. Some of those taken today, officers say, are sick too. Just 12 cats, and all this fuss over 12 cats, I just, I just couldn't believe it. It would be different if I had like 50 cats in the house, but over 12. Can you smell it though? Can you? Yeah, it's well. One of my cats. Can you turn this off? Off camera, Scalican explained it was just one cat with a problem using the litter box, but officers say that is not the case, and these photos show that this home is in bad shape. You move one thing, and you find five. Five inches full of urine soaked paper. So basically, she's reverted to just throwing paper on the floor. And uh, it's really, really unhealthy in there. And the urine smell is so strong that it's noticeable from across the street. This is dangerous for the animals as well as the resident. Kathleen Scalican remains inside her home. She has refused to leave. The cats, however, have been taken to animal friends where they'll be checked out and then ready for adoption. Coming up new at 6, hear from a neighbor who also stepped in. In Brookline, Marcy Cipriani, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. We're going to turn now to the